What if your electric car could run for a million miles without ever needing a new battery? That used to sound like a dream, something you'd expect from a sci-fi movie. But now, it's not just possible, it's actually happening. Elon Musk has said it himself. The vehicles Tesla is building right now are engineered to last a million miles. Every part, from the motor to the battery pack, is being designed for extreme endurance with minimal maintenance. That's a bold promise. But if the recent leaks are anything to go by, Tesla might be about to deliver on it. At the center of this breakthrough is the Tesla Model 2, a low-cost electric vehicle rumored to start at just $10,799. More importantly, it's expected to be powered by Tesla's next-generation 4680 Gen 2 battery. Already, construction is ramping up at Tesla's Giga Nevada and Megalup facilities, with crews and cranes hard at work building out the capacity needed to mass-produce these new batteries. But this is bigger than just another affordable EV. It's about rethinking what batteries are capable of and how they fit into the future of transportation. The big question is, can Tesla really make a battery that lasts a million miles? Is this just another grand Elon statement, or something grounded in real science? This time, there's actual data to back it up. Tesla has been working with Dr. Jeff Don, one of the world's leading battery researchers. His team's lab tests have shown that Tesla's battery cells, both lithium iron phosphate and nickel-based, can survive over 13,000 full charge cycles. For context, a full cycle means charging a battery from 0 to 100%. Multiply that by a typical daily drive of around 180 miles, and you're looking at more than 2 million miles of potential battery life. It gets better. When these batteries are kept within an ideal charge range, say between 20 and 80 percent, they retain over 93 percent of their original capacity even after 10 years. That means after a decade of daily use, you're still getting almost the same range you had on day one. This kind of durability isn't just great for personal car owners. It's also perfect for Tesla's future robo-taxi fleet, where vehicles could be driving nearly non-stop, clocking 100,000 miles or more per year. These new batteries could keep those cars running for 10 or 20 years without replacement. And that's a big deal for businesses, especially those in delivery, rideshare, and logistics. Now think about the Model 2 again. Not only could you use it as your personal daily car, but Tesla plans to let owners opt into its robo-taxi network. That means your car could earn you passive income when you're not using it. Drive it when you want. Let it work for you when you don't. And because the battery is built to last a million miles, you're not just buying a car, you're investing in something that can literally pay for itself over time. So this isn't just a battery upgrade. It's a complete shift in how we think about owning cars. Less maintenance, lower cost, longer life, and potentially an income stream. But how exactly does the new 4680 Gen 2 battery make all this possible? It starts with the design. The new battery cells are taller than before. They went from 80 millimeters to 90 millimeters in height. That might sound like a small change, but it results in about 20% more internal volume per cell. That boost allows each cell to hold 15 to 20% more energy, depending on the battery chemistry. So without increasing the size of the battery pack, Tesla can now deliver longer range. That's important because the Model 2 is meant to be compact and affordable. Thanks to this more efficient cell design, it could offer a real-world range of 250 to 300 miles without a giant, heavy battery pack. It also means Tesla can use fewer cells to power the same vehicle. Fewer cells means fewer weld points and connectors, which cuts down on production time, complexity, and potential failure points. Simpler builds mean cheaper production and easier maintenance. One major engineering headache with earlier batteries was managing heat. Charging fast or driving hard generates a lot of heat, which can damage cells over time. The taller structure of Gen 2 improves passive cooling, and Tesla's new thermal materials help spread heat more evenly across the battery pack. This reduces the chance of hot spots and increases long-term safety and performance. Another key feature is the tableless cell design. Traditional battery cells use metal tabs inside to carry current, which causes resistance and heat buildup. Tesla's design gets rid of those tabs entirely, letting electricity flow more smoothly and evenly. That means faster charging, 
less heat, and longer life, all critical features for robo-taxis and long-distance EVs. Tesla's choice of battery chemistry is also smart. Instead of using expensive nickel and cobalt-based batteries in the Model 2, they're turning to lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. LFP batteries are around 30-40% to 40 cheaper to produce, mainly because they don't require those costly metals, many of which are mined in controversial or unstable regions. LFP is also safer. It has a higher thermal threshold, meaning it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. That makes it a better option for hot climates and rapid charging. The downside is lower energy density, but Tesla makes up for that by using the larger Gen 2 format. Bigger cells mean more energy, keeping range competitive without inflating cost. And there's one more trick, dry electrode manufacturing. This method, borrowed from Maxwell Technologies, eliminates the need for solvents in production. It cuts energy use at the factory by up to 40% and allows for thicker, more efficient electrode layers. That boosts volumetric energy density and narrows the performance gap between LFP and more expensive chemistries. All of these changes, cell design, chemistry, and manufacturing, combine to create a battery that's safer, cheaper, longer-lasting, and scalable. But Tesla can't just invent the battery. They also have to make it in massive quantities. That's where Giga Texas comes in. This factory is already producing 4,680 Gen 2 cells using the dry electrode process. Even better, the battery lines are located right next to the Model 2 production lines, which means no shipping delays or transport costs between battery and car assembly. It's all happening under one roof. By 2026, Giga Texas is expected to pump out over 100 gigawatt hours of batteries each year, enough for up to 2 million Model 2s annually. That's huge. And because it's all based in the US, Tesla can avoid many of the supply chain headaches and political risks that come with importing battery materials from overseas. Tesla's also building Giga Mexico, another plant designed specifically for affordable EV production and Gen 2 battery logistics. Lower labor costs, local materials, and a focus on robo-taxi expansion make it another key piece of Tesla's strategy to scale this innovation globally. In the end, this isn't just about making a car go further. It's about removing long-term costs entirely, fuel, maintenance, battery replacement. You could drive it, share it, or sell it years later with the original battery still working. So the real question is, what happens when batteries stop being the weakest part of the car and become the most valuable? Will you jump in early or wait until it's no longer a choice?